Winning trophies and creating those special moments on the pitch is arguably football's greatest achievement a player can have, but nothing beats the feeling of having a skill move named after you. Let's take a look at some of the world's greatest signature moves. One of the most iconic skills from one of the greatest footballers in Dutch history, the Dutchman introduced the world to his 180 degrees turn 23 minutes into Holland versus Sweden in the group stage of the 1974 World Cup and the world has been happy ever since. With the Dutchman tightly marked by Jan Olsen, it seemed there was no way out, but he had other ideas. He feigned a pass as if to cross to his teammate, but he suddenly made a 180 degree turn, dragged the ball behind him implanted feet and accelerated with speed, leaving the unsuspected Olsen for dead. I still cannot understand, Olsen said in 2016. Now when I see the video, every time I think I got the ball, when he's about to kick the ball, I'm sure I'm going to take it. He surprises me. Arguably the finest footballer of his generation, a man whose touch and technique were unparalleled throughout a storied career of skill and success. The roulette, which at the time is referred to as the pirouette, has been executed by several players before, but not quite. With the artistic grace of the famous Frenchman Zidane, he glided across the pitch with style, and when he was at the top of his game, no one could stop him. His famous move was the roulette. Approaching an opponent, he would drag the ball back with the studs of his right foot, spin his body around, then drag the studs of his left foot over the ball. He often used the move to get out of tight situations, sometimes the skill allowed him to get past one opponent, leaving some making clean air shots. What a player! Dino perfected the move and made it his own. The expressive and exciting Brazilian, perhaps the most skillful player to ever play the beautiful game, loved taking on defenders. And with this skill, he could push the ball from outside his foot, then quickly pushing it back the other way in the same inside foot. He made it look easy with a smile upon his face, leaving many defenders chasing their own tails with the skill or flat on their backside. Simply a thing of beauty. Ronaldo's signature chopping movement became a sensational hit across the world. He used it quickly to change direction and it proved devastating time and time again when he was in full flow. What stands out from the move is the speed at which Ronaldo changes pace, accelerating fast to easily fly past the opponent, dragging his entire team forward. And his ability to pull it over and over, there's no denying this is a favourite skill for the majority of Ronaldo's fans. Remember, the flawless top corner finish for Real Madrid against AS Roma in the Champions League after a perfect control and chop to get away from the defender. Quaresma was one of the most entertaining wingers to watch, and partly thanks to his signature move, the Trivella, the winger scored some memorable goals and provided some fantastic assists with the outside of his foot. The skill involved the difficult art of bending the ball with the outside foot and no one did it better than the 39-year-old. It was befitting for the winger to score his first World Cup with his signature skill at 2018 World Cup against Iran. Many argued that the skill helped Quaresma hide a weakness in his left foot, but he says he loves it because it's always difficult for defenders to deal with. Whatever the reason, football fans will always remember him for this skill. In recent years, we've seen several Panecas in different leagues across the world. The likes of Zidane, Andrea Perlo, Sergio Ramos, all have scored some beautiful Paneca goals, but this was not the story in the 70s. During the 1976 Euro Finals between Czechoslovakia and Germany, a penalty shootout was to decide the winner. And with Germany missing one kick, it was down to Antonin Paneca to win it for his team. That's where he unleashed his signature skill that he had been practicing, and Czechoslovakia were crowned champions. The world has since learned a new skill. And 
Andreas Iniesta, one of the most skillful midfielders we ever saw, known for his inch-perfect passing, dribbling and composure. The La Magia graduate was the figurehead of Barcelona and Spain's success in the late 2000s and early 2010s. One of his many tricks was the famous La Croqueta, the skill involving passing the ball with one side of the foot to the other before accelerating at space. It helped him to skip past opponents easily and even though it looks easy to execute, the skill requires balance and subtle shifts of body weight. The move might not be all flashy, but it's one of the most effective in modern football and no one did it better than the diminutive midfielder. Last year might not have been on the same level as many players on the list, but he's one hell of a skillful player. He broke through at Crystal Palace and in the first season in South London. It was clear he had plenty of skills in his locker. He was a true entertainer on the pitch, and the only predictable thing about him was that he could do something unpredictable. He had numerous skills, but there was one in particular that sticks in the memory of many. Playing away at Tottenham Hotspurs in 2014, but last year was pushed against the touchline with nowhere to go, the former DSC international rolled his studs over the ball with his right foot, then with his left before flicking with his right again. The move was so good that it soon debuted on the FIFA as El Tornado and Borlasi was not happy about it, saying it should have been named after him. Frenchman is arguably the best player of the Premier League era. He could start goals and create them for his teammates. He could dribble past shoots. He entertained any time he had the ball. One of the most famous tricks was a fake kick or fake pass. He did this during warm-ups, but he at some point introduced it during real games for Arsenal, and it became a trademark move. Well, he could not do it when his team was losing or drawing, but when they were comfortably leading, he could have fun with some of those gimmicks, bamboozling his opponents. With the fake pass, he could pretend to be kicking the ball with his right foot but instead nudge it to the other direction with his left. It was like a magic trick. This list would not be complete without mentioning Ronaldo. Well, the original Ronaldo, the Brazilian, was arguably the best player during his playing days, easily beating his components with a number of tricks that left defenders on the deck. One of his famous skills was the step over. Yes, before CR7 and a number of other wingers picked it, Ronaldo Di Nazario owned it, coupled with the lightning pace ability to dribble. The former Barcelona and Inter Milan star was unplayable. Which skill do you feel we left out and should have been on our list? Let us know in the comments. Thanks.